share the merit eh? for all your good deeds and may be shared by all beings. It's like a merit. Whenever you share, it's like light. The more candle you light, the more more light. So we're going to share merit. Okay? Okay. Can you repeat Ida Menya Tina Hotu Sukita Hotu Nyata three times? Ida Menya Tina Hotu Sukita Hotu Nyata Ida Menya Tina Hotu Sukita Hotu Nyata Ida Menya Tina Hotu Sukita Hotu Nyata Sadhu Sadhu in the temple here, but I recommend that maybe we do it uh, when we come back at the temple. So we can just go outside and then uh, we sort out and to get food and then I come and start with a, a groundbreaking ceremony and open the bottle. So now Nine meters? Yeah, I think so. So this is a borehole. We are going to uh, inaugurate. <laughs> Just roll like this. Which side? Like this. Okay. One, two, three. Sadu, sadu, sadu. 
sabiti o vivajantu sabarogo vinasatu teva wantantara yo sukidiga yuko bava vivadana siri sani chavuda pachainu chataro dhamma wantante ayuano sukamba bawatu sabamangara rakantu sabadevata buddha nubavena sadaso tiva wantu teva watu sabamangara rakantu sabadevata sabadama nubavena sadaso tiva wantu sabamangara sabasanga nubavena sadaso wantu te sadu 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 Okay, we finish this one. Take a picture, Bante. Yeah, take a picture. Mm -hmm. okay. Everybody, make, make. Uh, in a few days, we are going to acquire that land, the 25 decimals, I will show you. The whole place is going to be a first Buddhist primary school in Uganda, probably even in Africa. And this is where those children are going to study, the novice monks and also the orphans. Those who are, the, if I bring an orphan, uh, stop at primary three, grade three, four, also they will be studying here because uh, it's very close. The monks stay there, the orphans stay there. So this will be a center for learning, but they will learn mindfulness, Buddhism, uh, on top of the national curriculum. This is a place whereby I got a, uh, the uh, Vietnam, I mean, Vietnamese person in Florida. He said he would like to help me establish a school in Uganda, like that. I had that dream before, actually. That's why we bought this land. But immediately, I was surprised to get the email from somebody and say, uh, in my life, I want to build a school in Africa. So uh, he's about 76 years. He got some COVID and overcome COVID. And he delayed to send money here, but finally he sent 10,000 US dollar to kickstart this project of brick laying. So altogether he donated 80,000 US dollars and say, do as much as you can, but I can't go beyond that, but at least start somewhere. So now this is a brick laying. I told him that uh, we don't, cannot afford to, uh, a company to construct the building, but let's use local people. So we, 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 that's why we see uh, brick laying, so that we reduce the cost, so that at least it can fit somehow in his budget. Yeah, yeah because this is a lot of soil. If we can lay bricks like this, that we want to, it's called Tong Win. So now what I request to you is uh, on behalf of the foundation to have ground breaking ceremony, because this is going to be the first building. The first building is going to be here, because it's lower and, and there's still soil here. So we cannot, we have to wait until some soil goes off and venerable to do the groundbreaking sermon and they also we chant the blessing this place. The, uh, as far as I know, this is going to be the first school in Africa, B Buddhist primary school. We don't have it in, in African countries. Yes, so this is very, very... Xây dựng cái trường học là cúng dương bởi một vị Phật tử ở bên Florida tên là Thọ Huỳnh. À, cúng dương 80 ngàn tại chỗ này. À, và đây là chính là cái trường Phật học đầu tiên của Africa. Thì ngày hôm nay chúng ta sẽ làm lễ động thổ ở đây để chuẩn bị khởi công xây dựng và 5 ngàn đô mà chúng ta cúng dường để mà mua bàn ghế cho trường học đồ là, là tại chỗ này, cho trường học này. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, actually, actually, he delayed a lot to, to send money uh, because he didn't know how to transfer money from USA to Uganda. We spent almost two months. <laughs> to, he didn't have a foundation how to send money here. So we delayed this project. This project is supposed to be somewhere, at least a lot of bricklaying going on. But it's, and nevertheless, the less is being done, it's being started, it's better. Tất cả những cái gạch này là là mai mốt họ sẽ nung thành gạch, à, sẽ dùng cái gạch này để xây dựng, nó sẽ giảm bớt cái chi phí của xây dựng ở đây rất là nhiều. À, và cái vị Phật tử bên đó gửi cái tiền qua đây cũng mất hết 2 tháng, tại vì không có biết cách để mà chuyển tiền qua đây. Cho nên bây giờ ít nhất cũng đã gửi qua được 10.000 rồi, thì ngày hôm nay chúng ta sẽ làm lễ đồng thổ để chuẩn bị khởi công. Yeah, I like to use this same opportunity because already your foundation has paid uh, uh, 5,000 US dollars for buying the chairs for this school. So we have kick-started this project. And also we have now scholastic material. So I'll send this picture to the, for the donor, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tong Win, to see, to show them that already there's something that 
has been started. Bricklaying is going on. The, we have the, the people making chairs. We'll start making chairs here and the, uh, the tables. I'll forward you the, the, the pictures. We are so grateful to you to be able to really help us with this historical site. This is going to be a historical site. Other children also will come from other African countries to study Buddhism here in this place. Sabitio Vajantu Sabarogo Vinasatumate Vantantara Sukidiga Yukovava Avivada Nasiri Sani Chavuta Pachai Chataro Dhamma Vantante Ayuano Sukambalamba Vat Sabamanga Vakantu Sabadeva Tasaba Anuba Vina Sadaso Tiva Vantu Teva Vatu Sabamanga Mangala Rakantu Sabadeva Sabha Samhanu Bhavina Sadaso Tiva Vantu Teva Vat Sabha Mangala Rakantu Sabadeva Tansangan Bhavina Sadaso Tiva Vantu Teva Sadhu Sadhu Okay, just wait. ดูสมเด็จนะครับโอ้ดิอามูเลสัญญานันนันดิวันตังโลเอวันตวิเตโอโหจุเจยาสุยามังกะเลยอัปปะระดิตานันดิสิเสมะสัมมิโมกะเล
Yeah. So the other one is boys, these girls. Uh, no, 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 no. So we should make, make it another room. Yes, we make another room here. So here we put a double decker here. So we have to buy the bed for this one. But at least you get some idea of the house. Yeah. So we can now go. The, the, the way they made the steps, there's some work that needs to be redone. They are so steep and uh, very dangerous actually. So we need to do some work here. And also convert the garage into a bedroom. Eh? Yes, that will be very good. Yeah. For future expansion, we can bring all of this one and uh, build it here. Up to here. You can stay here. Yes. Seven? No. Six. Ah, that is, that's a store. Six. That's a store. Six. Yeah, that's a store. Six and here, yeah. four. Sewing and uh, culture, so the, the, all these ones. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Thank Goodbye you. and come again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Come again, the tenant. Now we can go back to the temple. Yeah. Children getting water. <laughs> so you see why I want to give. Uh, let me tell you one thing. Eh? Why? Wh let me tell you one thing. Eh? Why I made a water project. One of the reasons I made water project is uh, some one of the priorities in, in in Uganda because children like this. They are the ones who get water. They send them to get water, and it's too heavy for them. I used to do that also. <laughs> yeah, so children and women are the people who get water from very far distance. If we didn't have this borehole, they have to go long distance, like, yeah, those children like this. But the, the borehole used hand like this huh? not good for the children. Like this? Make it all like this. This is just process. Yeah, this. It's like this. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, so we never have that oh. borehole. One person died in, there in our farm, next to our farm. They are doing a borehole. Because they, of that? Yeah, they, never. We don't have any borehole like that. Yeah, so we machine drill them, others hand drill. After that, we close them, and then we have pump like this. Yeah. yeah. You see this road? <laughs> so it's really bad when it rains. So it's a lot of... Uh, that. I would like to, I, I'd like to take a picture here actually at the entrance, all of us here, yeah at the entrance, yeah it would be very good to have a picture at the entrance. Here. Honoring that trip. Yeah. So venerable from Burma. From Burma. Yeah. Welcome. Yes, yes. Yeah, welcome to Uganda. He's a, he's a person who understands Buddhism very well. <laughs> this person. <laughs> yes. I I I yeah. So these are our novice monks. Yes. The, uh, these are all lay people. All these people who came along with the team. Yeah. You saw him yesterday. Yes, this oh. one we need. Yes, nice yes. You, sir. He's a nice one you. of the first Buddhists in Uganda. Yeah. Oh. But he's not only Buddhist. Such an honor. I'm but, a civil but, engineer by profession. I was working in the government. Oh, cool. Minister yeah. of Works. We were oh. doing roads, buildings, bridges. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I, met, I retired, then I met when I came to Uganda. This is, this is the most costly sewing machine. Uh, others are also, uh, uh, they are about 12, this is uh, 14 actually, this is the 14th one. This can make sweaters for the schools, the, all, of all the schools, you know. We had earlier some uh, uh, sewing machine, but they broke down, but they're very small, not like this. So we'd like to uh, express our gratitude uh, to the Hong Tung uh, Loving Kindness Foundation uh, in USA, Australia, in conjunction with the Uganda Buddhist Center to offer this one. To, uh, to the Uganda Buddhist Center. This property belongs to Uganda Buddhist Center, but these people come here and learn the skills 
and they can stay here, others can go and uh, uh, increase their productivity at home. But the, all of them will be coming here uh, uh, to learn. Some of them have already learned actually. They have already learned and they have started uh, producing sweaters. Like one of them is uh, the uh, Mama Mulungi, that lady. Uh, she has a novice mom. Alwa, novice mom. This one, this, he, the, the mother of this novice mom. So she's really very supportive. And she has another also boy who used to learn here temporarily. And uh, there's another one, he has another son who uh, always, uh, she encouraged the son to come here and meditate, the youngest one. So uh, this is the time to offer now, this, you, can, you can go back. So we are going to do the blessing. Sadhu so sabitiyo vivajantu sabaro govina sadhu ateva vantantara yo sukidiga yuko bhava vivadana sirisa nija buddha pachai chataro dhamma vantante ayuvano sukambalamba vatu sabama rakantu sabadeva tasab nubhave Na sada so ti ba wan tu te ba wa tu sab ba mangala ka eva ta gan wa ve na sada so ti ba wan tu te sa du sa du. We are asking one of the group here. They have been coming here for how many years? And they have spent four years coming here to learn skills. Uh, like uh, sewing sweaters and tailing and all that. But the problem they had was actually limited sewing machines. They had only two. Eh? Two, and then there were many. How many number? How many people? Yeah, over 20. 20. Over 20 people using two sewing machines. So there was a, a problem. So five of them were on one sewing machine. So the net effect, some, some of them start going, 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 because they spend one week without not touching even the machine. So now uh, this, the problem is solved. We are going to have two people per sewing machine. Two people per sewing machine. Eh? That means at least uh, within two days, somebody will touch the sewing machine so that they continue on becoming big number. So um, yeah, that's what we yeah, and, and so I, I like to use this opportunity to ask one of the people, group, to say thank you and also uh, give a testimony what they think uh, 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 this will make it, uh, in their life, what's the difference it will make in their life. And now again, Okuba Chikida. Okuba Chikida? Only three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, thank you very much, Bante. And uh, the visitors? We really expect that these machines that you've offered us it will change our life completely. Yeah, even though we had only two sewing machines, but still we could make sweaters uh, because actually the ambassador of Thailand, we work together and uh, also Uganda Boot Center and we donated some of these things. So now, uh, even then we had only two sewing machines uh, but we uh, and other uh, two other machines that make sweaters. But still, we sold them. Uh, whenever we made sweaters and clothes and other things like shoes, we used to s sell them, and actually, uh, that improved on our income, and we become better than before. Mm -hmm. Also, as for us, for them, they have got even more chance they, now because they have many sewing machines. Other people will join them actually. Uh, yes, now, then those people also will earn their living when they come to learn the skills here. Uh, now, uh, I have a question. Eh? 
Maybe other people, uh, what's the situation on a village here? Is it a lot of lack of jobs? Why do you want to come to Uganda Boot Center? Uh, tell, tell on behalf of all the members here. Is it, uh, are you okay, you just come just to spend uh, past time, to have another skill, or you, you are stranded there? Tell us, this is the time to tell us <laughs> whether you are stuck. <laughs> mm. Okay. You say that uh, actually, tr truth, uh, truth be told, eh, we, uh, we don't have any income at all and we cannot go to institutes of, uh, to learn this sewing machine because we have institutions where you can learn these things but you have to pay money and all these things. And also they are far away from this village. <coughs> She's saying that uh, actually uh, there's no women here who can afford to actually pay money to learn sewing machines over there. So here is for free of charge and actually as I told you Venerable, we are paying also the teacher for the next six months to teach them actually. Y yes, the teacher's here, this one. He used to live on this village. Yeah. So the teacher will come and teach for free of charge until they learn. Because these are the parents uh, of some of our children here who come to meditate. If they live a better life, that means they can support their children and they can even send healthy children here to come to the temple. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Yes, here she's saying that this is a good opportunity. We give the materials for them to start. So this material we bought along with the sewing machine and uh, the teacher, and then they are so grateful for, for this offering. I think that's it. We say sad, sad. So we can do the same thing. There's another project whereby you offered uh, some clothes and uh, these are some of the women. These are, these are the things, these ones. They wanted culture dress like this. So when you see this, like this, one, two, three, others are coming. So we use the same time to inaugurate that and you see exactly what we bought for them. Okay, fi finally we say sadhu, 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 sadhu. I'm a Venerable Panyakara from uh, the USA and I am a CEO of the Hương Tư Love and Kindness Foundation and uh, now I'm here in Uganda. Basically this is uh, our first time in our life uh, coming to Uganda because uh, we have a desire to see how the life of people in uh, Africa and also we have a call for fundraise 
okay. to support the people here in Uganda and Kenya, Tanzania. But unfortunately, we cannot come to those countries because to the COVID-19. Yes. Therefore, we uh, focus here in Uganda, but uh, um, also now a new lockdown. So it's, everything just changed. Basically, we, uh, we are here opening uh, a lot of boreholes uh, to uh, support people with clean and clear water, safety water. And that's uh, Entebbe, yes. Kambala, um, on the road go to Kenya, uh, Sudan, Masaka, uh, a lot. And we, uh, we contribute about 19 boreholes in Uganda alone. And then Ghana and Congo. So basically, um, uh, those water just to support the people. So that way, they don't have to go too far away to get the clean water to, uh, for family use, for daily use. And also, we giving out food to the poor families. And other than that, we also support schools, and students, and also the, the a lot of charity works. Uh, we have been giving out uh, fifth grade from the, the, young, the, the smallest level up to fifth grade. That's what we have been giving out. For Africa itself, uh, we started to uh, call for fundraise about over a year ago. But for our foundation, we started for a while. And uh, for the school uh, education, of course, uh, we, we would love to see the children here to go to school. Every single one of them, they have a, ch a choice to go to school and learn as much as they can. And if they be able to graduate and have a good job, that would be grateful for their family and their, their relatives, where they, they're born. It will help them a lot to change their life. Very honored to have a, the first Buddhist school in Uganda. And that is sponsored by one of the lay men from Florida. And uh, uh, we, we just support a uh, portion of it. And it is very grateful to have a, a Buddhist school here in Uganda. We had about 15 almost finished, 15 boreholes almost finished. And there could be, a, uh, uh, there should be a couple more that were going to be finished uh, within a month or two. So all 19 boreholes will be finished within a month or two. As a Buddhism, we don't ask people to convert into Buddhism in order for them to, to get this or get that. It's not uh, uh, our purpose. So basically, if they are in need, then that plays for them. Our uh, master, he is the abbot of uh, the, the monastery in the uh, USA, and he, he is uh, the head monk. And I'm his student, and he's my brother monk, uh, also living in USA. And we have about 13 more, 13 more lay, lay people uh, that follow following along with us. Thank you for having us here. Hi. Um my name is Chien Li uh, from Hung Dao Buddhist Temple. Uh, we located in Fort Worth, Texas, USA, and um, we, um, our foundation, which is called Hung Tu Foundation, are here um, today um, for um, for our charity projects. And uh, we came here um, to do uh, wells, uh, to do uh, food offerings, okay. and uh, along along with helping um, the communities here, uh, especially during this COVID time. Uh, this will be our first time for the entire group. So first time ever to actually in Africa. So we are very surprised um, of how, how it, it feel like? Um, well, at first we thought Uganda would be very hot because Africa, our impression is it's gonna be very hot. But when we come here, the weather is perfect, perfect weather. And, and, and we are so excited um, that we, were, we, are, we get to be here um, to see the people, to see the climate, and, and it, it gives us a very um, different image of what, of what we envisioned before we came here. Uh, we've been here almost seven days, ten days now. So, um, so yes, our, our trip actually is scheduled for 20 each day, but, uh, but since, because the country is on lockdown right now, so we have to go back soon. Actually, there is no obligation here, and we, we our Hung Tu Foundation, um, this, our CEO um, just wanted to help Africa. Even though we are Vietnamese, and, and it's, we, we have Vietnam many times in the past, 
but um, but in order for us to to have Africa, we we have to um, to prepare many months in advance to create to fund to raise the fund to come here. And we wanted to have Africa because we know that they need a lot of help in terms of water, in terms of food, everything. So that's why we created this project. Uh, for Wales for, for Africa projects and we were able to raise some money to come here and help out Uganda. Uh, with the assistance of Uganda Buddhist Temple here with Bhante uh, Buddha Rakita, um, we were able to, as he, uh, a liaison that, that he, he is, and he helped us um, uh, managing the project. So basically, um, would be able to direct us which, which place to go, uh, what to offer, what to donate, and from that point on, we just contribute as much as we can here. Yes, uh, we actually here, we have um, created a total of 19 boreholes here. While we are here, we have um, created that many in Uganda, but there's also some in Kenya and some in Congo as well. Each project creates a, a different perspective, a different view. We have Health Vietnam in the, uh, during the central flood um, time. There was um, a huge flood in Vietnam, so we did come and help out. But since we are there and we are Vietnamese, so there is not much of a, a, a big gap, you know, when we come there and help out. But in here, in Uganda, um, we come here with no, no knowledge of, you know, the, the, the cultures or the, the people here. And, and we kind of, because we don't know, there is some, something that we kind of, you know, afraid and stuff. But with the help of the temple and with the help of Bhante Buddha Rakita, he has helped us prepare a lot and, 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 and help us have a smooth transition while we're here to help out uh, the people in Uganda. All the ladies dance here when we came in and the kids dance. And, and that, that is, of course, we don't see that in America. And actually one of our members here were joining the, the dance with them. And, and it, it, we just want to join in and jive in with the, with the, with the culture here. And, and we're actually enjoying it very much. I see Bhante Dham, uh, Buddha Rakita as, as the founder of you know, Buddhism, Theravada Buddhism in Uganda. Not only that, Uganda is like a, 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 a cradle for the entire Africa. From here on, I think, I think he, well, his, his vision is to expand it through, throughout the entire Africa, help the African people understand about Dhamma, understand about the Buddha's teaching. And I think with, with his visions and the support that he get from people outside of the Africa, I think he's, he will be successful in these in this projects. And, and we are there with him all the way. I am actually uh, was a former engineer for 15 years. Now I'm a businessman. I think because uh, because now that we build a connection here, and there's many future projects that 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 Bante Buddha Rakita has, and some of that will be able to support him. So there is there is more likelihood that we'll be back. And and obviously this time the trip was cut short. So we're gonna we're gonna probably be back to to you know to fulfill our missions here. Coming to Uganda on this project, um, for me personally, I never envisioned that I would be traveling to Africa. Uh, but with this project, suddenly it brought 16 of us together on this mission to Africa um, to, to do charity works, to help out and build boreholes and for, for water, clean waters for the people here who are in need. And, and, and I feel very appreciated of the people here, the local people. Um, the culture, the culture here is amazing. The people are very, very friendly. Unlike, you know, the 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 unlike what I was thinking or what what we came to accustomed to, or understanding about the Africa. When we get here, we under, actually um, we actually change our mindset um, as far as the culture, as far as the climate, as far as you know everything else. And 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 and, and I'm I'm sure that 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 we will 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 meet back one day in the future. Uh, my name is Erilyn Tran. Um, I am also at the Hungdao Buddhist Temple from Fort Worth, Texas, and we are here for the Africa Well Project. And so I'm um, very glad to be here today. This is my first time in Uganda, and this is my first time in Africa. Yes, and um, just like my uh, friend has mentioned previously, that uh, our vision of Africa is very different before. Um, until now that we come here, it has been completely different from what we had imagined and um, it is for the better of course it is um, we had such a pleasant experience here and so we're very glad to be here so there are two folds uh, the first is that when before I came here I thought in my head as a young woman traveling to Africa uh, you have to be careful you know you got to be 
uh, more uh, watch watch out for your back and see you know it's more dangerous for women to travel in general but when I came here it was totally different never once did I feel unsafe never once did I feel like I was being harassed or um, feel like I'm being catcall or anything at all and so I think that it is very safe in Africa uh, especially in Uganda I feel safe the whole time that I'm here uh, it is still unfortunate in many parts of the world that it is still very uh, women are still facing violence and domestic violence and rape and all kinds and so I hope that one day it it will change for women um, but in general, I do feel safe in Uganda. Our CEO initiated this project. However, uh, he couldn't have done it without everyone that come together and help us. Uh, this project has uh, took us a long time to for it to come to fruition. I believe it took us almost a year, an entire year to plan the project and to actually raise money and for us to be here. And so, and it is the uh, help of for many, many people as well, for many uh, Buddhist lay people in the US, to Vietnam, to Australia, to France, to Germany. So this is a global project for us. And so with many people that are helping us to uh, reach here today. I love the Ugandan uh, culture. Um, I think that you can still be joyful and be happy um, in under unfortunate circumstances. In everywhere that we went when we distributed food so far, uh, we have people come out to dance for us and sing for us and to just welcome us. And I feel that welcome and I feel that love. And so I, I do love um, to mingle with the people and we all, all our team here, we do love to get down there and to be, um, to uh, socialize with the locals. So it's been really, so I am an esthetician uh, in the US. I do beauty, so I work in the beauty industry. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we were supposed to be here for 20 days, um, but it was cut short due to the lockdown. So we have to leave tonight. Um, at 11 p.m. Uh, it, it's it's sad, but I think that for the 10 days that we've been here, we've done uh, quite a bit already, and we kind of see we get to see the culture and the people here. And this is an unfinished project, and so I have no doubt that we will come back here again uh, sometime in the future to finish this project. Um, I would like to thank everybody to uh, for helping us here and to give us an opportunity to help. Uh, that's what our main point is to help people and that to welcome us here and to welcome us with open arms and to love us and we really appreciate your culture we really appreciate that love and we can't wait to see you again listening to a talk uh, from uh, the venerable uh, Naguna, uh representing uh, uh, home for to loving loving kindness foundation in usa and australia and uh, any of our visitors, if they want to see any, uh, tell us the impression uh, of Africa. Some of you, this is the first time in Africa, and uh, you thought maybe Africa is very hot. <laughs> uh, so it would be very good to, for one of you to also uh, give a testimony after the Dhamma talk. We'll say sadhu, sadhu, and I'll open it to any uh, person from our side. I represent Uganda Buddhist Center to say a few words of thanking you to come and visit Uganda Buddhist Center and uh, also from your organization. So without any delay, uh, we'll start our program uh, by inviting Venerable uh, to uh, give a few words, even for one minute or two minutes, it's very, very meaningful. And for us, it's a blessing uh, to have a very respected Venerable here to say a few words. Reverend Butarakita, good amongst ladies and gentlemen, dear and friends, um, this is the first time for me to give a talk in English, Dhamma talk in English. Um, as a Buddhist, we, uh, we follow and we practice uh, Buddha teaching. And uh, in the stanza, uh, said that um, we, a Buddhist, we practice 
whatever the Buddha teaching, to to cease all suffering, to attain nirvana. But before that, the, the way to become uh, Savaka Buddha, uh, Pachika Buddha, Samma Sambuddha, we have to practice. We have to fulfill ten perfections. It's called Dana, Sila, Nakama, Panya. Vidya, Khanti, Satya, Aditana, Metta, Upekha. As we we now hear, right, from uh, Hung Dao Temple, all the monks and lay people here, we are from Hung Dao Temple. And uh, also, on behalf of the group of uh, Hung Tu Mindfulness Foundation, we come here to see what the Pante Uttarakita have done for the people, for the, the people in Uganda and on people from the Africa. And we are seeing that you have done a lot of great, magnificent social work to the African people, especially for the Ugandan people, for, your, for, for the country, for your country. I can see that uh, the Reverend Buddha he take the, the Buddha teaching become a practical lesson to make that the Buddha teaching is a, become a, something real. People can, can see that, people can listen that, people can touch that by his all social work. But all his activities have done for this country. A lot of many things. Have you seen? We go, even we have a short time, even one week. We, di we go different places. We have, we have to see, to, uh, to view that. Everything is open, the uh, Buddha Kata have done. Uncountable. He have done uncountable work. Giving food to the poor people, water, supplies, uh, water, green, okay, safe water for the people, school for a student, uh, shelter, how for remind all of the, the Buddhist followers that, that we have to uh, practice that. Dana means giving. Sila means not by action, by speed to harm to anyone. And we have to do something for his heart, for, for the, the from his honesty, a truth mind, from his compassion, love and kindness from his heart to serve the people, to serve the Ugandan people, to serve the, the African people. And he strive a lot. Uh, with his perseverance, he do many things without fatigue, without tired. Sometimes I can see a physical, mental work, see? Something like, uh, for, for, like for my, 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 my thinking is uh, if I in, 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 in a good, not good health condition now, but whenever, whenever I see what he, he did, I feel exhausted. May think he had done that. So he, he has a lot of patience and he do with his determination, his uh, a lot of decision to have to make with his de determination to have to do something is uh, do anything anything to get the benefit for the people he not deny that and from his loving kindness from his compassion that's why we very uh, happy and uh, thank you all of us, we are grateful whatever you have done for the people, for the Yunnan people, for the Buddhist people. So we, uh, we appreciate that. Thank you and we are very proud that we have uh, we come to this country with the good people, good, good monks, good people. And uh, we also thanks to your kindness from you, from your people, your uh, hospitality. We have a chance to come here 
to stay here and do all kinds of uh, charitable things. So uh, in behalf of uh, all our people, our group, from, from the uh, Loving Kindness, Loving Kindness uh, Foundation, we uh, appreciate that. Uh, may you be, be success. All if your, uh, your mind, your project, uh, for do the benefit for the people, for good for the Buddhist sasana in Uganda, will be successful. And may you and all your people be well, happy, and successful. Thank you. I did not know I had to talk for today, but I would like to say that thank you so much for giving me a chance to talk with uh, our people, our crew, and uh, the Africa Uganda uh, society. So today, uh, wherever we our activity here, we can do charity. We can do hope for the Bani Buddha Rakita, whatever he project. I would like to say I'm very proud of you. Whatever we did our activity, I'm post in my Facebook. A lot of people, they're very thankful. They're very happy. So even they told me, uh, they saw my, 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 you know, uh, my photo too on, on, a, on my Facebook. They thought I also like a Uganda monk. <laughs> but only different way, the different color. But they thought you also look like a Uganda monk. <laughs> okay. So the first table. Today, uh, you guys don't think I teach for the, what the Buddha said. I don't want to think about you too like that. I just want to share a uh, Dhamma message, what the Buddha teach. So Buddha, in Buddha teaching, very important the three things the Buddha says not to separate anywhere. So that's a vulnerable, uh, Bani Buddha also already said the Dana Sila Bhavana. So Dana, that's it, Pinda Pali, that means we charity, we donate, donate. How important dana, how important charity, how important for the uh, donation. The Buddha said, we are the human, but we are different our life. Because that's our karma. All the Buddhist people, we believe, we really be believe the karma. That's karma means our action. What we did it, what we talk, or when we talk with each other, how we nice for other person. Our body action also how nice for other person. Our mind, how clear, how nice, whatever we think, how clear. That's a very important. So Buddha said, we are a human, but our life is different. You know, the karma, some people are rich, some people are poor. Wherever we had our, you know, wherever we belong, we have a more. We don't keep it. So like, a, you know, I deposit a lot of money in my bank, in my account, a lot of money, what for? Buddha, Buddha said, what for? You keep it a lot, enough for you. But some people in need it. We can share for them. That's what the Buddha mean for the dana. Today, look the the Hantu, uh, Loving Kindness Foundation. We also can to share what our belong, what they belong. So to the Uganda country, whatever the Bani Buddha Rakita he project, we can do we can do support for him he project. That's why I think uh, here, so all of you, the Uganda people also, you also very, you know, very uh, hopeful whatever we can to do it. That's why the finally I would like to say we must believe for the dana 
That say, you know, uh, the Buddhist people, we believe in reincarnation. When we pass away this life, we have to go another, another life, so we will be good. That's why we believe for the dana. So now what we can do it, how we can do it right now, so for the night time, we have to do more than that, that we think about. I also hope, uh, hopefully, so night time, we can do more than that. That's what we think about. So uh, all the Buddhist people, uh, uh, we believe and the final goal for the Nibbana. So whatever we do our action, we have to be thin, so we have to be pray. One day we have to be go to attain, we have to be attained to the Nibbana. That's why finally I want I also wanna bless for all of you. So you will be good, you will be okay, you will be successful. One day you will be attained to the Nibbana. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. Dear Venerable Sirs, uh, laymen and lay, laywomen, I only have a, one story that I, I would like to share. One day, there's a group of people, they travel through a, um, a very dense forest, a deep, really deep forest. They travel day and night. And then one day, uh, this time where the sun's sunset they cannot see anything but they still have to continue traveling through that forest certainly they heard a voice calling from behind with one light shining just like a flashlight telling them stop stay right there don't move the group of people they start to be afraid they don't know what to do they stand still and wait for the next order. From that voice, telling them, sit down, pick up all those gravels on the ground, and then put it in your pockets. They have no choice but listening to it. And they calm down, uh, they pick up the gravels, they put it in their pockets, and they run. They start to run, trying to get out of that dense forest. Once they see the light, they feel joyful, happy. And then once they get out of that forest, they, started, they start to take out those gravels from their pockets and look at it. They see all gems. So they regret that they didn't take enough. Now they want to go back to that forest to take more gems, but they are afraid. The meaning of this story is, here in Uganda, you have a triple gems, a Buddha, a Dhamma, and a Sangha. It's very rare for Africa. Once in a lifetime, you can find a triple gems exists in this side of the country. So this is something that's very important for all of you. Triple gems are already here. It all depends on you that you take it or not. If you believe in it, and you find peace in it, and you believe that these triple gems will take you out from suffering, then please take a lot. Just like you grab a lot of gravels, at the end, you see those gravel are gems. Same thing as the Dhamma, the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. All his teachings, Pante Buddha Rakita, here, teaching here in the center, those are gems. You should take advantage of that, to take all that for your life. And don't waste your time. Life is short. So with this sharing the Dhamma, a short, very short story, I share all my merits that I have generated since the day I departed from USA, came to this side of the world, and have done a lot of charity work. With that wholesome deed, I would, let, I would love to share it all to you, to you all. And may you be well, be happy, and peaceful. And one day, you find peace for yourself to get out of suffering, attend Nibbana. That's all I need to share. And thank you so much for having us here, listening to, all, uh, to, to us. 
and giving us a chance to do all this work. Thank you so much for everything. Venerable Buddha Rakita, on behalf of our foundation, I am truly appreciate what you have done to us. Without you, we are not be able to do, to do so much thing. And I offer all my merits to you. And may all your wishes will become true. And may the Dhamma bomb, like you said, will spread out through all this country and Africa. Once again, thank you so much for what you have done to us, guide us everything, and took us around and connected us with all the people in Uganda. In the future, if we have a chance, we definitely would like to come again to see that Dhamma bomb already spread. And if you need anything in the future, please let us know and we will try our best to support Pente. Thank you so much, Pente. I'm truly uh, uh, touched and moved by the speech of all the three most venerables. Sometimes words are not enough to express one's gratitude. But what I can say, I'm eternally grateful for most venerable uh, Ratunaguna. Um, you know, I'm, I know you're very senior monk. You've done a lot in the United States and around the world. You know a lot of people. I'm so touched to remember to bring your team here to Africa. Venerable uh, Sidananda, my teacher is called Sado Sidananda. The picture is there. You saw the picture? Yes. Thank you very much for your speech uh, here. Uh, it's very touching to listen even the Dhamma talk <laughs> here in Uganda. <laughs> yes, from all the way from USA. Uh, give a Dhamma talk here. Thank you very much for the people uh, that you have offered the Dhamma talk. They'll take it seriously. Again, Venerable Panyakara, I'm so moved by you becoming a monk. Becoming a monk, I heard about your life. You're a very successful person, very smart, engineer. Only two years, you decided to become a monk to serve the Buddha Dhamma. So that's very touching for me. But even more touching is that you led the group and organized people as managing the whole team to come here at the Uganda Boot Center. Uh, you have a few words uh, that you have mentioned. There are many words, actually. Uh, it's good that I record it here. Uh, have touched me so much. And I'm sure I'll listen to it again. Uh, and your invitation to help uh, whenever we, need, we have need. And your commitment that you'll be coming back again in the future. Though there's an African saying that if you leave Africa, Africa will never leave you. So I will really uh, hope that you come back to Africa when there's no COVID like this, so that we can have more work to do together. Since I became a monk, I go to conferences. I invite people to come to, the, uh, to Uganda. Last time I was on a conference in Vietnam, I say I'm alone. I'll send this speech to you. They want to give at United Nations this Saturday. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Please come to Uganda and do the work, the Dhamma work. So you are the one who listened to that talk. <laughs> really, this was almost two years I was in Vietnam. I'll send you that speech when I was making this appeal, calling br Dhamma brothers and sisters, please don't pass by Africa. People just fly over Africa and go to New Zealand, go to Denmark, go everywhere except Africa. So you have fulfilled my wish for people to come here and do Dhamma work together. Because this work, it's not easy to do it alone. You do it, you come, it's like a wheel in a, in a it's like a dharma wheel, they have spokes. The more spokes in a wheel, the more it becomes stronger. So I don't know how many spokes you have put in the wheel, dharma wheel, to keep on rotating, and uh, people will understand the dharma. 
As I told you when uh, we are in, uh, in Jinja, the people wanted to give 100 people, uh, their children, to become novice monk. So you've touched people in Africa, in Uganda, in many ways. As I want to thank our late devotees who uh, accompany these venerables, including Venerable Tan. Thank you very much for your presence here and supporting us. I really uh, appreciate your presence here and your, your gentleness. <laughs> I've been seeing you talking to novice monks. Uh, thank you very much for your presence here. And please come again, we'll be in touch with you. And of course, I'll be coming to US in October and spend maybe a couple of weeks and then uh, really, uh, really talk more about how we can uh, help Africa because Uganda is the only one country out of 54 countries in Africa. So uh, I vow that before I leave this body, every African country will have a triple gem in one form or fashion. So we have a lot of work ahead of us together. Yes, so uh, for lay devotees, thank you for your kindness and your generosity. You are an embodiment of the paramis the Venerable was talking about. Yes, uh, so uh, myself, I've been to Vietnam three times. Uh, I've been to Tagata Meditation Center supported by Vietnamese people. Uh, they used to cook for me. Uh, in the same spirit, you being here, you remind me of my time in Vietnam and my time in, 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 in Tatagata Meditation Center. Yes. Um, dear someone else and um, devotees and Dharma friends, uh, I just don't know how to express my, my feeling here. Um, after coming here for seven days, um, my state of mind has completely changed since I got here. Um, like I was interviewed and expressed my feeling, the culture, um, it wasn't what we envisioned. I mean, we, like you said, we don't know Africa. We don't know Uganda. We always think Africa is hot. The climate here is, is the most pleasant climate of any country I've been to. And, and the people here are so friendly, are so innocent. And when we go, we offer food, especially to the kids. We see their vibrant, uh, vibrant smiles. And those smiles, I don't think we see that a lot from where we come from. Uh, the smiles of hopes, the smiles of, of, of waiting for, for some help. And it, it, it really touched us when we see them came and surrounded us with, with their, their smiles and, you know, it seems like they, they want, they, 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 they really needed us. And, and when we come, um, for the little things that we give here, it's not much, but, but, but what they have given us is an opportunity for us to obtain or to, to continue building up our parami, like our master has said, dana, to give, to offer. And I think, I think we get the most benefit out of this offering, out of this dana to the people here in Uganda. Um, we, we see that the little things that we offer here has changed them a lot. Not only just, you know, the, the little food that we give or the waters that we give, but that sense of hopes. And, and I, think, I think that we brought that to them. Our t-shirt, the yellow t-shirt, it says, giving is the best hope. And when we took the picture of that t-shirt, along with all the kids surrounded us with that picture, I think, I think that makes a lot of, um, a lot of sense. It, it, it speaks volumes to what the kids here are needing. And definitely, like our venerable Banyakara has said, that we will be back. During this short time, we done not so much as what we have said to come here and accomplish. So the other half of our mission 
will be fulfilled in the future. And by your assistant here as a liaison, as a bridge for our temple to the people of Uganda, we appreciate your hospitality so much. Without you, we would not be able to accomplish this. And, and without you, we would not be able to, to obtain the merits or to give the people here in Uganda a little bit of what we have and, and to, to continue to, to cultivate our Dharma life uh, following the path of the Buddha, to build up our paramis and may all the merits that we have obtained during this trip be shared to you, Bante Buddha Rakita, and to the temple here, so that your, your vision will soon come to fruition. And that vision that you have, we would like to play a role in your vision. And thank you so much for your help and your hospitality. Thank you again for giving us hope. Uh, actually, I was a bit worried when uh, one time I was talking to General Panyokara. He told me that uh, people, our members are coming, they would like to do something in their lifetime, one thing in their lifetime. I said, wow, that's wonderful. But then when the president announced about this, and uh, we are just halfway on what we did. <laughs> I say, well, are we done? <laughs> are we done for the day? <laughs> that this is now done. But when you say that, okay, half of it you have done, and half you hope to come back, that really rekindled my hope. Yes, and also when Venable told me that I'm welcome to your temple. Yes, because I'm sitting on a mountain of work here. It's like it's an, an iceberg we have started. I mean, Africa is such a huge continent with 54 countries. Uh, one time I was being interviewed by BBC. They told me, Venerable, you, you want to put 60 monks in African country? That's too big. I told them, no, it's not too big. <laughs> so when I hear that you want to be part of that dream, to see Buddhism, the triple gem, planted in African properly, there's a lot of suffering, like anywhere in the world, but Africa is missing the triple gem. I would like the triple gem to be here. Suffering will continue, but they will know what to do with it. We Buddhists, we know already the phenomenal truth. You know? So many times I give a talk about Buddhism with bishops, with people, Christian nuns. They told me, please come and teach at the, 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 the university. Some of them, the Christian nuns say, I'm your disciple. Please, in the, be, in the beginning they say, where is God? You haven't talked about God. <laughs> but later on, I, when I continue to teach, they say, where is the meditation cushion? Can I come to the temple? As you saw, the nuns were there last time. They come and meditate here. So uh, thank you very much uh, for your beautiful talk to represent uh, your foundation. Thank you very much. Sadhu. Uh, now the next thing, I would like to welcome uh, the mayor of this city, uh, Entebbe, in Katabi co uh, County. Uh, mayor, uh, we have done some work with him. He stays on the village. Uh, one fundamental work which we did was to distribute food uh, during the pandemic. As there was announcement on the village that Uganda Buddhist Center, please, help the people, they're suffering, they're hungry. So we had the money we, we got from USA. We had the food, but they, we didn't know how to dispute it. So now uh, the mayor uh, uh, coordinated it with RDC and we were able to distribute food. And people are so happy in this village. We have worked on a few projects. When the, oh, the Lake Victoria over flooded, so many people who are staying around those landing sites, they didn't have clean water. He recommended places where we can actually uh, uh, give water. Hmm? He recommended a place. 
and we have uh, given many boreholes because of his recommendation. And whenever even we open boreholes, he comes and he preside over the ceremony to open the borehole. As you know, you people are coming from USA. Mayor in the area means a lot. So we are very grateful uh, to have a working relationship with the mayor. The mayor himself has promised to give us a, a small land. I wouldn't say small land, a land. Land is land, it's not a small or big. Yeah, so he promised us to give a land to establish a center there. And recently, he actually uh, also asked to have a borehole at his place. And uh, I would I like to uh, announce this time that I contacted our, our team and they okay. So he, we, are, we will be able to donate the borehole at his area. So I'd like to tell you, uh, lawyer, uh, 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 Kalima, Mr. Kalima, Bassam uh, that our team has donated the borehole in your area. Amalovozi go nagatu sizayo, zo gazeleti muko katono from our program, but uh, I was able to okunyigirizao. I was able to, uh, Mayor has recommended the borehole in the school around here, but also he took Andrew to the place where he wants us to establish a center and also have borehole there. So I was so busy and went and they drove, he drove Andrew to a place where he needs the borehole. And then uh, since he took Andrew in time and he saw the place and Andrew gave me the feedback that we have seen the place, I said, okay, we are going to give him a borehole. So this is a good news, I think, uh, the mayor of this area, that uh, we will start the borehole in the area de you designated in your hometown. So this is the time, Mayor, to say a few words, and uh, uh, then uh, we have for that, the, the, uh, we, we've been giving a, a few speeches. The venerables have given the speeches. The good thing that is they are recorded. We'll be able to share with you the recording. But uh, we have a few more things to do here now, like you giving a talk. And uh, there will be some distribution of uh, bo 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 arms bought to the, to the novice monks and all that. So this is the time to do your event. I don't know, uh, you don't have probably much time, but they uh, allow you to give a, sh a short speech and uh, your reflection, how you feel about, since you have been coming here for a long time. And also, May, I would like to tell you, yeah, May, I would like to tell you that uh, this group were supposed to stay until the 20th. But when I had the president's uh, announcement that there is no uh, people coming in a group, given the groups we had in Jinja, 500 people giving food to 500 people, uh, 200 people, uh, 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 scholastic material. So we had a crowd of over about 500 people around. You know, we went to Jinja, we did it. Open the borehole, many people came. We went to Vien, many people came. So when I had announcement from the president and also stopping inter-district movement, I knew how it's going to be very hard for us to continue with this work. So uh, with a, a bit of discussion with the group, uh, I said, we'll do it another time. Because also we are exposing ourselves to, uh, to danger as there's a new variant. So the earlier we leave, the better because of the new variant. We don't know which person we're going to contact in our trip. So I think we have left at the right time, but our hearts, our friends are leaving their hearts here. The physical body will go over there, but we start your mind and your kindness, you always reverberate and stay here, and as a ripple effect. So I know physically you've gone, but I feel your presence. I will always feel your presence here since you have helped us to really spread the Dharma and make a difference in people's life. So uh, I don't want to speak more than this. I would like to welcome the mayor to say a few words and what you have to do. And then uh, if you can stick around, that will be good because uh, very soon we'll go for a culture program. And we would like to follow the SOPs. We had already ordered the food to distribute to Masaka, to the different places where there were 15 boreholes being drilled. And we had already ordered the food. Uh, and we could not keep it here. <laughs> so what we decided is to actually drop food in places. We just, in, we don't invite people. We just walk and drop food on doorsteps of people. 
like this. So the, that way we're not uh, making people gather in a group. So you'll be, in, you'll be happy to know that the place where you recommended Bohol in Kasenyi, I selected it. Because, yeah, because they have similar, uh, it's called Ranjaba. That's where we're going. This event will end up there in Ranjaba. We, I know how I've uh, uh, told my group here that we get food and we just just drop. Don't even ask people to come out of their, their home. Let them stay inside. We go there and we, we tell the LOC one to tell all the people not to come out of their house, stay in their house. We just drop, 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 drop food in their house. Uh, we, there's one disadvantage I saw like, when I, I, we are distributing to the place here. There's a place where we are distributing food there, near Baitawa uh, town, Kagoromolo. We say that we are distributing food in each home, each house. There is one young kid. He said there's a house here. But when I, I looked at the house, it's for chickens. <laughs> so I wonder how chickens are going to be recipient. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, it's very interesting. Always there's loopholes, anyway. But I hope there will be no loopholes there. You know the place very well. And uh, we did communicate to you about this. Uh, how we are going to do it, but the lorry of food is coming uh, uh, from Kampala, and then that will be the last item. Today they have a flight at 11 going back to the United States. Yeah, so uh, that's the idea, and uh, I think the person from Ranjava is here, Joseph Kalemba. Uh, so if you can inform the LOC one to really uh, arrange people, and if you, are go if you have time, Mayor, that would be great also you are there because uh, that will be very helpful because we don't want to, people to gather and come to us uh, and I don't want uh, uh, to expose ourselves in danger. For us, our aim is to give, you just drop in each house. So if we know the local chief there, that will be very good so that they don't cause a mess there by coming. Because once people see you are giving something for free, they can 50 come all together like this. If you have time, it will be great to be with you if you don't, we'll understand because this has been an urgent thing and we thought instead of keeping food here, let's distribute it in this manner. Yes. So uh, without delaying, I would like to invite our mayor to come and say a few words. And all the people around, I'm happy to be here with you. Uh, but before I proceed, allow me to introduce the mayor of Enteve Municipality. You know, in Teve City, comprises of Katabi Town Council, Kajansi, Kasanje, and the head of, of us, I came with him today. Your Worship, Fabrice Rurinda, you're most welcome here. I would welcome you to just say what to the visitors if I continue. Now, this is the mayor who takes where the airport is. certificate the most interesting thing about life is there's very little you can do without discipline. Politicians we usually don't have discipline. So I'm hoping I can learn to meditate and uh, relax the mind. Because my mind is always running uh, with a number of people you meet every day. Sometimes it's hard to just stay calm and uh, I welcome you and uh, thank you for having me. I first of all, uh, I'd love to commend the fact that you want to be here to this in Africa. We need it. Okay. We need that spirit of discipline, we need that spirit of selflessness, we need the spirit of giving. So, like I said, I uh, was ambushed by you, but I'm glad I came. I'm glad I saw this. And I will come you back. We only have 42 days of this, and then we'll go back. Hopefully, to normal. 
So I would like for you to come back and see how much more we can do with the community. Entebbe is a beautiful place. If there's any place to meditate, I think Entebbe is a place, isn't it? Mm. It's very relaxing, it's serene, it's quiet. So you're very welcome. I'd like to hand back Thank you. to the boss of Katavi to continue this. Meeting. Your Worship, before you go, you, I would like to, to you to help me and award the most venerable Banti, the Lakita, for always caring with uh, our communities and bringing us good visitors. Andrew, help me. He awards a certificate of appreciation. And another simple gift still. I award it to him. Thank you very much. You can go back and sit. Uh, to our visitors, in our local language, we have uh, a saying that uh, which is interpreted that you give the one who gives you. Whether you expect from him or not, but you always appreciate. I also want to appreciate uh, the group from USA and Australia. I don't know who. Thanks for loving us, visiting us. And Hona, oh yeah, thank you. That is from Katavi Town Council. Okay. I also have another noble gift which I want to give. Every time you see, we made it in the flame of fire. Whenever fire is burning, there's always hope for continuity. Thank you very much for listing us and helping our people. For the interest of time, my few words are just expressing our sincerity for visiting us. We are only so unfortunate because of this pandemic. We would love to be with you for the rest of the days, but we hope, God willing, you'll visit us next time. You never know we can also visit you one day. But we thank you for every contribution you've made. We thank you for being down to earth. You know, it's not easy to visit such communities. I know you might have been in Gerenge. I don't know whether you reached there. I was born from that town. So when you visit such a town, just know you have visited me. I love it from the bottom of my heart because that's where I was born. Thank you very much. And we thank Uganda Buddhist Center, especially the head, the most venerable for loving us and bringing us the visitors. Not even only in Katavi, you extend to the areas of Uganda. Thank you very much, and may God reward you abundantly. I remain Ronald Kalema Basamlekere. May God bless you, and I wish you gen masses. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your gift, uh, the Lord Mayor. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mayor uh, Kalema Ronald. Basamlekere, who's the prince also. Yes, the prince also actually. Yes, so your love for Uganda Buddhist Center. Uh, I know you are from this village, but whenever there's a visitor, you even bring them here to the temple, to see this temple. Thank you for awarding us these uh, mementos and tokens. They mean a lot to us. Uh, I know it's your heart in Entebbe, your love for Entebbe, <laughs> that for us we will be successful in our mission because you are the person who can speak on our behalf in those offices, including naming, you are, you are working on naming this road so that people know, <laughs> know where they are coming. We are working on that to give this road a name. And uh, in fact, let me take this opportunity. Uh, there might be the possibility even to make this road up the main road. I know we had challenges with the local people there and we stopped there, but actually plan is underway to really make this road join there. So that when people come here, they know they are coming to the headquarters of Buddhism. 
So I'm looking forward to uh, working with you to calm the local people, know that this is the place, no, no longer a, a, a very small place. It's a place that is bringing all international people and the road needs to be done properly. Yeah, the people are still growing food on the, on the ro along the roadside. <laughs> now as you go back look again, you see pumpkins all over places. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you play a big role to help us to see that we expand. Thank you very much. Our visitor, wait, your name again, please. What is your name? Uh, uh, Ruyinda. Uh, his worship, uh, Ruyinda. Uh -huh, that's, so thank you very much for offering these this gifts. And we are going to work hand and glove to see that we actually expand Buddhist faith in Uganda and beyond. So we would like to work closely with the office to really uh, make uh, remind Ugandan, Ugandan people that there is an oasis here and they're all welcome. This is not the place, this is not only a place for Buddhists. This is a place for all human beings who are suffering and want to overcome suffering. That's it. If you have somebody who wants to have happiness and don't want to suffer, you fit here very well. It doesn't matter your religion. So uh, this message, I hope it will go around the world uh, in Uganda that uh, people are always welcome to be here. So again, uh, that's uh, uh, another milestone uh, for the mayor to come here. So we are going to proceed on with the program whereby uh, our visitors are going to offer arms balls. Arms balls, I think it may not be known to you, but that's a requisite. The one of the requirement to become a monk, you must have a place to eat from, I mean a plate to eat from. So we are going to get it and then they will offer this to the novice monks, right? So the novice monks, you are going to be here and uh, how are we going to do it? So let's get the arms ball and then you offer the novice monks because that means a lot to them. Yeah. They have no hope without that arms ball. But now they have hope because they have a rope and arms ball. So that's why I want to make a special event to make sure that you offer the arms ball each one. Yeah, so Andrew, can you bring the arms ball? Yeah. Those here, the word sadhu, sadhu is an equivalence of amen. Amen, amen. In Buddhism, we say sadhu, which means uh, excellent, well done, something like that. So you're going to hear a lot of that in a place of clapping. Uh, that's what they do in this faith. So. This gift came from yes here, and they're going to offer it to the novice monks. They cannot become monk without this. Every time I try to bring them, <laughs> oh, always it's become a problem. I swear. So, all of us, all of them. Behind.
Okay, definitely. So this is the mission of other monks who came with the Stagu Siado came, and this is the book out of that. We hope also to make a book from this mission. We print it like this to remember. So that time we made a book when the Stagu mission came. What time Dama sits and Stag a visit, yeah, Stagu visit to Uganda, Africa. So give us permission also to have a book and to publish some pictures and uh, make a book out of this. Yes, we'll do that. Uh, so, it would be very good to, to spread this in a book form also. Venerable is also, he has recommended the one monk to come here to train the novices. Because the Dhamma book. So, maybe we have a this one. So, the Dhamma one, that the I want us to come around. Yes. It will happen this one. Yes. We give you this gift and uh, uh, as a token of appreciation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, uh, saying goodbye to our visitors. They have a long journey to US. Thank you very much on their behalf. And uh, I've been to Vietnam. We have a very good culture program when we go there for United Nations Visa Day. Uh, so uh, since uh, we have people here also from Vietnam, yeah, I think uh, you have also culture there where you, you sing and uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, so this is very good. So uh, the equivalent here in Uganda is when people get happy, they drum, and they get happy, they sing, and they get happy, they get dance for you. This is to say goodbye to you, and they're very happy to receive you. Thank you. Yes, uh, so these people are from the temple. Some of them are teachers at school. Some of them, they are their sons to uh, novice monks. Some of them, they are each of them they are connected to the temple in one way or the other. 
others they work on building sites, others they work on cooking, on cleaning. So all these people are not foreign. They are all from this community. And so when you come here, so they really feel so much joy. Yeah, the, so they are part of us and that's all what they can do. Yeah, not all of them are Buddhist. Actually, the biggest part is a different religion, but here we don't segregate in religion. We have even Muslim, actually. We have Muslim here. So Uganda Buddhist Center is actually for all this community, all people in the community, because we work for the betterment of human beings. So that's a, 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 this is a big achievement of Uganda Buddhist Center that we are able to bring all different religions together. Yeah, so like uh, even uh, uh, some of them you see in the veil there, they are even Muslim. You see the people in the veil there, they are Muslim. We are Christian people. We have different all religions there. Uh, we all work together here, and I feel that's what the Buddha's teaching is all about for, for the benefit, the happiness of all human beings. So we are happy to have this uh, culture program. I thought of uh, having this culture program because that's what brings us together. There are some events that may not bring us together. Yeah, like meditation. <laughs> Sometimes people don't want to meditate. But I found out this culture event, people come and they're happy. That's why I did this invention of make sure that this part of our program is a cultural program, especially during COVID, where things were so de depressing. We don't know, we don't know what to eat tomorrow. So I thought, okay, let's have something to get, that keeps us together. So on behalf of my team here, and uh, we would like uh, to thank you very much for your uh, offer to, uh, to say goodbye and welcome. Because on welcoming, you welcome them, but also you're saying goodbye. But I don't think you are saying goodbye alone. You are saying goodbye and come again. <laughs> yeah, so you'll find a group. <laughs>